Manchester United have had a mixed bag of results in the last few games, haven't we? A 4-1 win over Newcastle felt like a momentum-building win. It wasn't. We lost 1-0 away at Basel in the Champions League. We're still top of that group. Then we go home to face Brighton at Old Trafford. Brighton, arguably one of the hardest games we've had at Old Trafford this season. Their attacking was very good. But Ashley Young's deflected goal was the winner in a 1-0 win, which is definitely going to be remembered for the result and not the performance itself. But coming up now... Man United have got three huge games in the Premier League, starting on Tuesday night with Watford away. Marco Silva's team doing very well this season. Then we've got Arsenal away at the weekend. And then next Sunday is the Manchester derby, the big one, the one that everybody's going to be looking to in the Premier League. Can Man City run away with the league or can United, at least for the moment, put a halt on their progress? Anyway, Watford first. Let's get into the match preview. As I said, Manchester United's results have been very inconsistent. We, we played so well against Newcastle, it felt like a momentum-building win. But then the Basel game was so disjointed in that second half, I had real question marks over the attitudes of some of the players. Maybe being top of the group already going into that game, somebody was inconsistent or somebody was, in, was complacent. I don't know. We were shit in that second half. And then Brighton, again, this weekend, we had a lot of possession, a lot of dominance, but not very creative going forward. It's a problem that we've had a lot against two teams that sit with two banks of four. Man United struggled to break it down, even with Popper in the team. So that's a little bit worrying. And then looking at Watford's form, you know, very good wins recently against Newcastle and against West Ham. But in the last six games, they have lost. They've lost to Everton, they've lost to Stoke, and they've lost to Chelsea. So Marco Silva's team is not infallible, but they're in a good run of form at the moment. Five goals in the last two games, zero conceded. And I've been watching quite a bit of Watford. I see Richarlson, the 20-year-old Brazilian winger, he looks very dangerous down the left-hand side. That is where Watford seems to do a lot of their attacking. So if Man United are going to do well against Watford, Valencia is going to have to have a very strong game. And whoever's playing right wing as well is going to have to double up and help with that defensive duty. Maybe that's going to be Rashford. And I suppose that all depends on the formation that we're going to play and the team we're going to have available. Now, Romelu Lukaku faces a potential three-match ban for kicking out at Brighton defender Bong. Uh, he did. It looked like he kicked out. It was a moment of frustration from Lukaku. But if it's not in the referee's report and they can put retrospective action on it, we may not have Lukaku for the games against Watford, Arsenal and City. What a big blow that would be. Ibrahimovic, would he be fit to start and come into the team? It was only last week when Mourinho said that Ibrahimovic wasn't fit enough to start just yet. He's been building and building and building. But let's see what happens if Lukaku gets banned. Now, Pogba has come back and he is fit, but he's not really a 90 minutes player at the moment. And we've got Watford, Arsenal and City coming up as our next three Premier League games. It's a huge task and huge three games for Pogba himself to see if he's fit enough to play in those. Uh, as for centre-back options, Jones, we're unsure whether he's going to be available. But Lindelof's man-of-the-match performance against uh, Brighton at the weekend will fill him with some confidence. Rojo played very well against Basel, probably the only player who played well. And Chris Morning this season has been much better than Chris Morning last season. So if we've got those three, and we do play three at the back, which is what I think we will do, we should have enough. But here's my predicted 11 for the game. As you can see, in goal, I've got David De Gea. Now, I'm going for a 3-5-2 here. I think we might see this against Watford and against Arsenal and potentially against Manchester City as well. Mourinho tends to use this sort of formation in big away games. We've got two massive away games coming up in Watford and against Arsenal. But that City game at home, a 3-5-2, is probably where Mourinho might match up against um, Pep Guardiola's Man City. When we played them at home last season, we played with two in midfield and we got overran. We can't do that again this year. That's why I think we might play 3-5-2. But for this game... I'm going for Smalling, I'm going for Rojo and Lindelof as the three centre-backs with Young and Valencia at full-back. As I said, I think Valencia is going to have a very busy game against Richarlson. That's, that's where Watford have looked most dangerous going forward. So whoever plays at right wing, which as you can see is more going to be not really a winger in this team, not with a narrow 3-5-2 formation, maybe it's going to be down to Pobber or Matic to double up and cover back. But Pobba and Matic are going to be my midfield duo as always with Mata just in front of them. And up front, I've gone for Martial and Rashford. I don't think that Ibrahimovic is going to be fit to start this game. And this strikes me as a match where maybe the last 20 to 30 minutes where the United, United need to switch it up, that is where Ibrahimovic can have his impact from the bench. Let me know what you think and what your predicted 11 is in the comments. But as you know, United People's TV backed by Labrooks for the season. And now we're offering some odds boosts. 
So basically, if you put an odd, a bet down, you get an odds boost on it. How nice is that? My bet for this week, for this game anyway, is going to be both teams to score. I think Watford is going to be a very, very tough match. And that leads me into my prediction. My prediction is actually one all. I think Man United are going to draw this game. I'm hoping for a 2-1 win. But having watched Watford in the last couple of games, they've got a lot about them. They're much more fluid going forward than Man United at the moment. Will Hughes, 2-2 two two for him. He's really settling into life in the Premier League now. Uh, but Watford have been very, very good this season. There's a reason that Everton have been chasing Marco Silva, left, right and centre, offering up to £10 million compensation for the Watford boss. But he's staying at Watford at the moment, and they are a good team, five goals in the last two games. And United are not a good team the last few games, very inconsistent. We've had two wins and a loss, but just the manner of our performances are very inconsistent at the moment. I'm going for a one-all draw, and I really hope it's a 2-1 win. What's your prediction? Let me know in the comments. As always, drop a like on the video, ladies and gents, and subscribe to United People's TV if you're new. We'll see you soon.